if you're anything like the rest of us, there have been times where you have made some very foolish decisions. In fact, you could even say they might be really dumb decisions. You can't even put them in the category of a mistake. <laughs> it was just a disaster. Today we take a moment and we look at Genesis chapter 36 with a clause that simply refers to Esau's wives. The women are not actually named, but they're simply referred to as Esau's wives. If we admit that our decisions always affect other people, and if we try to convince ourselves that we're the only ones changed by our decisions, then we're in trouble. We need to consider what we call a ripple effect. If you see the water, if you splash the water, there's this ripple. Right? It begins to affect other parts. The same is true in our relationships. And Genesis 36 begins to speak about this ripple effect, the choices that Esau made when he traded his brother's birthright. Remember, he probably thought there were foolish moments after he'd made that decision. But the impact of that one decision affected more than just Esau. It affected Esau's wives, the children, the neighborhood, the community. I want to encourage you today that we each get to choose God's way or our own way. We can never stray so far that God cannot save us. But because God is just, He will allow us to feel the consequences of our decisions, even if it means our children and our grandchildren are also affected. There's no way to know the outcomes of all the decisions that you and I make. That's impossible. However, God knows the ripple effect, and He wants us to desperately walk in obedience to Him so that the ripple effect we make is one full of faith. So today, think of a time when you made a poor decision. What kind of consequences did you experience? How did that decision affect those around you? And how did that experience change the way that you make decisions today?